Hi, this video introduces the Smart Plus Admin app and its core features. The Smart Plus Administrator app works with Smart Plus Cloud Service and Intercom products. With it, you can manage devices, groups, and personnel anytime and anywhere, making the company management easier and more efficient. This video contains seven parts, guiding you to log into the app, change your account password, manage groups and personnel, open doors remotely, make calls, monitor, and check various logs and reports. Before logging in, you need to have an administrator account. Provide the following information, company name, group name, your name, and email address. The email address is used to receive the account username and password. Make sure it is correct. If you'd like to use your mobile phone number for login and password reset, provide it as well. Make sure your property manager enables the admin app service for you. Otherwise, you can only use the Smart Plus Administrator web portal, not the app. Then, download the app. If you are an iOS user, search for the Smart Plus app in the Apple App Store. If you are an Android user, find the app in the Google Play Store. Once you receive the welcome email from Akuvox, use the credentials to log in. On the login page, select Admin as your role. Enter the username and password. Alternatively, scan the QR code to login. Ensure the region in the lower right corner is correct. If not, tap to adjust it. Tap Login. For account security and easier login, you can change your account password. Tap Me and your account name. Here you can also change your account name or delete the account. Tap Change Password. Enter the new password and confirm it. After modification, you are required to log in with the new password. On the home page, you can manage personnel and groups and check reports and logs. Let's start with group management. Tap group where all groups are listed here. Tap the add icon in the upper right corner to create a new one. Enter the group name and submit. You can choose a group to modify its settings. Here you can add personnel to the group and designate accessible floors. Tap the edit icon in the upper right corner to set the group name and how the personnel is displayed on the device's directory list. For example, if you select display as group only, only the group name will be shown. You can set three sequence call numbers. When tapping the group name to call, these numbers will receive calls in order. Next, you can enable the immune to anti-passback. This means that personnel in the group are not limited to the rule that they must enter and exit the area through designated doors. Let's continue with the personnel management. This part has two sections, add personnel and set up access methods for personnel. Tap personnel on the home page to view all users. To add a new user, tap the add icon in the upper right corner. Enter details, group, name, and ID. If the user needs to use the Smart Plus app service, enable Smart Plus intercom feature. The user's email will receive the app activation email. Then, choose whether to display the user on the door phone's directory list. The set valid time option limits the personnel from opening doors and logging into the Smart Plus app for a certain period. This setting has the highest priority over other access permission settings. Last, set whether personnel can issue temporary QR codes for visitors or couriers on their Smart Plus app. Tap Submit. After adding the user, you can tap a user's name to set up access methods. You can add PIN, RF card, Face ID, and license plate. For example, the user can use the PIN to open the door. You can open doors on the app's devices page or with various access methods. Tap devices on the bottom menu where all door units are displayed here. Tap unlock and the door opens successfully. Please note that if your service provider disables the function of opening doors on the app's devices page, the unlock icon will not be visible. To set up other access methods, tap me, authorization. The temp key is used for visitors to open doors temporarily. It expires after a set time or number of uses. Please note that different device models support different methods. Please refer to the product's datasheet on a Kuvox official website or admin guide on a Kuvox knowledge base. Let's move to the next part, make calls and monitor. On the devices page, tap call to call the target device. You can also open doors during the call. 
To view a live stream from the device, tap monitor of the target device. During monitoring, you can take a screenshot by tapping capture and later check it in logs. You can check various logs to track events related to the device. Tap alarm record on the home page to view the alarms. For example, emergency alarm means the property manager opens or closes emergency doors. Arming alarm is triggered by indoor monitors that may be connected to security sensor. Door held open alarm indicates that the door has remained open beyond its designated time limit. Break in alarm signals that someone forcibly opens the door. Tamper alarm signals unauthorized movement of the device. Tap a specific alarm to deal with it. Apart from these alarms, you can check access logs, call history, and captured images. To enlarge an image, simply tap on it. Thanks for watching.